Today I would like to talk about Grunt on CSS and I use it to remove the unnecessary CSS uh, from my projects. Basically what happens is if you include uh, many different CSS from many different sources, your project uh, CSS will become very bulky and sometimes it's good to optimize it for network performance. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So basically I'm going to start with the grant project which I've already created a video for and uh, kind of show you the starting point and go from there. So I have the grant file and the index.html and uh, everything is uh, pretty cool and I'm going to just run grunt minus v on it and you can see my build uh, uh, area has nothing in there so if I just do grunt minus v see what happens basically uh, what it does is uh, it creates an index.html and uh, the output of my project and uh, so that's all good so let me show you how I can uh, demonstrate to you uh, on CSS so basically what uh, have I have in my index.html, I have bootstrap.css, which is very popular. And I've introduced a little two small styles to use it from there. And I have a container fluid and uh, basically a row with a column styling. And that's pretty much where I'm using CSS. So if I do the uh, demonstration of how to clean up your uh, CSS, uh, what you want to do is uh, basically get un grunt uh, on CSS so the way to get that is pretty simple you can just type in npm install grunt on CSS and that would install grunt on CSS uh, locally and it shouldn't take you that long and we should be all set so once you have the package all you want to do in your grunt uh, project a file grant file.gss uncomment code similar to this and what it is saying is that my CSS path is under uh, sites because uh, my original files are all under sites and uh, what it does is, is basically creates a target file called tidy.css and it processes the index.html to look at it and does that so you can uncom uh, uncomment that code and you should be good and other thing you want to do is uh, basically in your grant file load grant on CSS. So if I just do that, that should uh, create a file called tidy.css in my build area. Right now I don't have it. And we can take a quick look at what it does. So if, uh, to just run uh, just that part of the process, I can just say grant on CSS. And you see it doesn't take that long and the good part is here is the great part you can see that my the new CSS file that has been created only has the CSS that I'm actually going to be using in this project it went from 132 kilobytes to just 2.73 kilobit and we can take a look at tidy.css and it has all the stuff I'm actually uh, just using so it's a very small part of the bootstrap and that's all cool and good so if I look at the generated index.html which is good but you would see that it is still doing this bootstrap.css and uh, you'll have to manually change it actually there is another plugin that I really like uh, that you should also give it a try and that can help with uh, putting the new name of the new file here and the way to do that is called process html and uh, you can uh, essentially uncomment the simple code. Basically what it says is it takes the index.html and processes and creates the same index.html in the same location again. And same thing you have to uh, uncomment and get that. So what we can do is uh, first of all uh, um, install grunt process uh, npm install uh, process html that should install the plugin actually it's called grant process html so the plugin is installed and the directive you give in your original uh, html file for replacing the html 
is actually pretty straightforward. So what I want to do here is see I put in some comments. It says that once this uh, thing is done and we are processing it, I want the final name of the file to be changed to build slash tidy.css instead of bootstrap.css. So what you do is you include this comment section and that's you're basically good to go. And if I run this thing, you can see it says grant process HTML. It is done and if I look at the final CS uh, final uh, file you can see it is including the right file build.css and uh, we can look it up in the browser and you're seeing that it is pretty good see here it is generating uh, everything in the right way so that's what you uh, really would like to do if you want to learn more you can basically go to my website uh, Gore Associates and search for grunt and uh, I've added some links uh, for grunt on CSS, grunt process HTML, and I will also put this video in there. Thanks for watching this short video, and you have a great day.